Well, what's happening, cuz? What's happening? Yo, yo, yeah, tell me what's happening. Yo, don't touch the cam. Don't touch the cam. I'm not touching the cam. We have been told that you guys are squatters here. You think I'm finna be squatting in some house? You stupid. Listen, I get the information. Yeah, a nasty scene in the Hollywood Hills when we tried to find out more about a foreclosed home that has neighbors worried. People who live near that house say it's been taken over by squatters. Yeah, but the people living in it say they're paying rent. Gina Silva was up there trying to sort it all out in a story you'll see only on Fox. Get the out of here. Don't, don't touch the camera. I'm not touching the camera. Just don't, mother. Take that. Yo, don't touch the camera. Don't, don't touch the camera. I'm not touching the camera. Just leave it alone. Stop Stop it. You, homie. An angry response when we try to get answers. The question, who has the right to live in this Hollywood Hills foreclosed home? His name is J.O. Felony, and yes, he is a rap star. But he says he's getting a bad rap. We have been told that you guys are squatters here. In oh, my homeboy daddy owned this house. You think I'm finna be squatting in some house you stupid listen i get I'm away information out. people are nervous i mean genuinely nervous so there's an intimidation neighbors say they're too scared to go on camera they tell us they saw men break in and take over this house get the here the rapper says he knows nothing about any break-in and his girlfriend backs him up we rented it from someone. We literally paid the guy $5,000 cash to rent this place. His name is Benjamin White. But here's what we've learned. Benjamin White is being sued by the Bank of New York, which says it owns the house and holds the deed for the property worth $1.6 million. The bank has filed suit against Benjamin White, accusing him of forcible entry and breaking the locks to get in, serving him an eviction notice to surrender possession of the house. White didn't talk to us, but has filed papers claiming he is not in violation. These people have educated themselves. Deputy City Attorney Maureen Rodriguez cannot talk about this case, but says foreclosure takeovers by squatters is a big problem getting bigger. They look on the foreclosure list with the Internet. That's very simple to do. They find out which homes are being foreclosed on, and usually right before the sale, they will move in. Her office prosecutes one of these cases every week, and she tells us once the squatters are in, it's hard to get them out. They use false name. They use false documents. They even use the court system, such as they'll file a bankruptcy so that it delays the unlawful eviction. Back in the Hollywood Hills, neighbors just want something done, telling us it's been crazy for months. They're blasting music. They're loud. They're cursing. You can't walk by without smelling the marijuana smoke. What are you hoping for? What do you want? I would like them out. I guess that's the honest answer. They are illegally there. No one owns that house. The bank owns the house. Again, the bank is suing, and the guy they're suing didn't return our calls. And the rapper? Y'all better get y'all straight. Fox News, whoever y'all is. Listen, I just want to get your side story. He tells us he still plans to buy the house, whether neighbors like him or not. Get the information. Gina Silva, Fox 11 News.